Hey everybody. <laughs> oh, I'm tripping over cats and wanted to show you the snow. So I was venturing out here and I have some other good stuff to show you. You see us repurposing things a lot here at Trey Wilderness. And uh, we did a big, the mountain man did most of it yesterday, a big repurpose yesterday. This right here was our living quarters for, hmm, well, September 26th to like November 20th, something like that. So this is where we were living. And yesterday we took the tent down from inside and the mountain man made himself a very functional workshop. This side here is clear plastic, so he has natural light coming through. And this side rolls up and he is able to back the four-wheeler in there real nicely and I'm going to venture inside here. It's cluttered right now but this is going to serve a great purpose. Back to our plastic doors again. He's actually in here right now working on the four-wheeler so that we can he's putting the snow plow on the front of this. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> uh. I don't know if Carol's on yet but that was for you Carol. <laughs> But this will give us an area to do a lot of things while the snow's flying. It'll give us a place to store the, the four-wheeler. We are able to put our generator out of the weather, get it, that taken care of. And what used to be the shower house will enable us to build shelving in there. And he can store things on there. We'll bl bring in the flushing board so I can start working on those hides. And he is going to bring his forge in here. This is also where we had the wood stove. There's the wood stove jack. So what we're going to do in here is bring in another stove that we have and put that in here. And that way we'll have a warm area that we can work and do things. And when his forge is going, that in and of itself will heat this up as well. But that way he can get back on the forge and start processing some of his wares. Um, we have some orders already pending for the Treyer Fire Tool. Thank you to you fellas out there. And uh, he is going to start making some of his hand forged metal work. So uh, we will start sharing that as well because that's going to go into our store. So a lot going on and this right here is going to be huge. Again, the intention will, will be in the future to put a roof up over from one container over top the other and this will give us a place in here that we could concrete and use as his shop where he can then make his furniture and and the varying things that he he uh, manufactures and handcrafts so it'll be a great space moving forward but right now for us this is a great space for us to be able to accomplish things out of the weather the other nice thing is this space will enable us whoop, sorry guys i was trying to flip it um this space will actually enable us to work on the cabinets for in the kitchen and be able to saw things that we need to for in the house so that uh we can we don't like putting our equipment out in the weather when we can avoid it so that's the intention in here so hello miss tammy i'm actually in what used to be our living quarters and it is now our workspace and going to be our shop so um we're both real excited about that because we were pretty limited um once we got in the house with the weather changing as to where we can work do you need me to hand you something no. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a big space, and um, it worked out perfectly that we had just enough plastic. The plastic that was uh, surrounding the shower house enabled us to close off the w back wall, so that was perfect. So, yeah, so we're, we're out here. I can have a place to uh, roast my coffee beans because doing that in the house is not a fun experience because it's so strong. As much as I love coffee, it gives me a headache. So being able to roast my coffee beans out here on the grill 
being able to flesh hides, being able to do his blacksmith work and anything else that he needs to do to get out from the weather. This is a perfect example. He's busy working on the front of this right now and getting the snow plow on. Uh, we have a lot of snow in our forecast and it looks like they got it right this time. So I'll go out now and show you guys what it looks like outside. Wow. <laughs> All right, hang on here. I'm going through the plastic once again. Okay, there's Olaf. He almost blends in with the snow. Whoop. <laughs> I switched to another tripod that is a handheld, but it's disheveled too. It's got some issues. So our tripods have seen better days through this build, but as you can see, it is just, it is beautiful. It would be untouched except we ran out today to get our batteries for our solar system so that I'm excited about but you can see it's just it's amazing and when we go for our walks it's just incredible to see everything so untouched uh, that's one of the greatest things out here for me I love winter and I love I feel like I live in Narnia it's just amazing in the winter time so for me this is just I, I make everyone else in the area a little upset because I do my happy dance when it snows. So there you can see the structure behind me here and it's going to work out great for us to be able to continue working and finish the things we want to finish and then start um, manufacturing our wares again so that we can get them on the website for sale. And um, like I said, I want to work on flushing those hides. There's a lot of different things we do. Um, Traditionally, and having that space will be really nice. Uh, tomorrow, we will start butchering our meat. We got to get that uh, wrapped up and frozen. Well, thawed and then frozen again. Um, so yeah, it is. It's absolutely beautiful out here. I I tremendously love it. And we are supposed to get snow for the next week. So we've been getting like one inches, two inches. Now we're moving into four inches. So it's. We've got probably about four inches of snow on the ground right now. So we'll see what happens. But I mean, look at this. I just love this. There is my little home with the smoke coming out of the chimney, the little mini me, the shower house. So it's all coming together. I mean, it's really starting to come together and we're feeling really good about things. It's, it's hard when you're working on things and you're trying to get things buttoned up and trying to get the, you know, like for the water in the house. There's so many chickens before the eggs and one of the biggest ones is getting our meat butchered before we go back in the house and start working. So, you know, you learn to shuffle without things and learn to improvise and work around that. And as you can see, you also learn to repurpose things in great ways. I mean, we're constantly repurposing things and utilizing things in different fashions. Like right now, my, my uh, water bath canner is our wood bucket and it works great. It's the perfect size. And it's amazing, you know, with that little wood box on these wood stoves, but our house is buttoned up nice. It's well insulated. And we go through just a little over a bucket of firewood all day. And our fire goes out about three o'clock in the morning and we wake up and it's still toasty warm in the house. So it's just awesome. It's awesome. Um, and one of the greatest things that we are learning is how efficient we are and how little we need. And I'll tell you what, it is just, it's, this whole process has been awesome. We are both very much enjoying the process, enjoying the process of putting everything in place and building it, even though it was stressful and grueling trying to beat the weather but also being able to see how efficient we really are and how little we both need. You know, it's pretty awesome. I can see you guys have been commenting. Hello, Miss Shelly. Tammy says it's beautiful. Um, Shelly says it's beautiful. You can keep it though. <laughs> I bet. I know it causes you guys great struggle where you're located. Um, Shelly says using too much data, so gotta go. My client does not have Wi-Fi. Love you, girl. Hang in there, praying for you. Well, I won't keep you guys long, and I've got some chores I've got to do. Uh, my Bible study is this evening. If anyone wants to quickly sign up and become a part of that and join us this evening, it's at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash Bible Study Book Club. But looking forward to a great night with uh, our group 
and uh, I've got to go get some things prepared and dinner ready so that uh, the man is fed well before that. So just want to um, lift, offer up some prayers. Uh, keep Shelly in your prayers. Um, also uh, keep my dear friend Nancy in your prayers and uh, keep Mona and Ken in your prayers. They heavily need your prayers. And um, Toika and Pat Kenny, and pray for George's knee. And um, I know I have a couple others. Pray for Diana and Craig, please. And um, Aaliyah and her son could use prayers. And continue to pray for Austin with his job. I know God is going to open up the perfect job for him. Um, he is actually visiting a community college today and going to take a course or two there and then uh, proceed to continue taking courses with Moody Aviation as well. So I'm excited for him. He's got some pretty cool opportunities right there. And um, I think at the moment it's good job a job did not open for him, um, thinking that a part-time job is going to be sufficient for him. And I, like I said, I know God's going to provide. And that's the thing we've got to do is we've got to keep trusting. I know things are crazy right now. Now. And as we continue to move forward, it may get crazier. But the one solid is we got to keep trusting God for everything in our world, in our life. And uh, that's, that's a huge hope and a huge thing. So don't lose sight of that. So guys, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I will do my daily live tomorrow morning and look forward to um, talking about some really good stuff. And I will see my group tonight for our Bible study. So you guys have a fantastic day. And I love you all. And God bless.